So if you created a blog or a website, but when you go to Google Search Console account, you see this issue crawled currently not indexed, discovered currently not indexed. This can be really frustrating because you want your website to be indexed on Google, but you are seeing this issue and your pages are not being indexed on Google. But don't worry, in this information video, I'm going to show you how you can fix this issue of crawl currently not indexed and discovered currently not indexed. I divided this video in three parts. The first part will be, I will explain you what are these issues of crawl and discovered currently not indexed. Second part, I will explain you what are the common causes and fixes of these issues. And in the third part, I will show you a live example. I will go into search console and I'll fix this issue for you so you can also understand how you can analyze your search console account and fix this issue for your website pages. Okay, so to understand this issue, first we have to understand how Google index the pages from our websites. So for example, if your website got page one, page two, page three, page four, up to 100 pages on the website. And these pages exist in our sitemap, we submitted sitemap to Google, or by anyhow, Google knows about these pages on our website. So what happens? Let's take example of three pages, page one, page two, page three. So this is discovery stage where the basic checks happen with these URLs. And then there's a crawling stage where the advanced check happens with these pages. So for example, page one, first it comes to discovery stage where the basic check happens. And when all the basic check got cleared, it go to the next stage, which is crawling stage. So in crawling stage, advanced check happens. And when the advanced check got clear, the page is being indexed on Google. You can see the page is on Google. So if somebody search on Google, a content which is relevant to our page, Google will show them our page in search result. But page is indexed only when it pass discovery stage and crawling stage. Okay, let's take example of remaining pages. So these pages first will come to discovery stage and somehow page three clear the basic check and goes to crawling stage. But by any reason, if these pages cannot go to the next process, for example, page two cannot go to the crawling stage, or page three cannot clear the crawling stage and cannot go to index on Google. So what happens, these pages stay here. And when these pages stay either on discovery stage or on crawling stage, you see this error of discovered currently not indexed and crawled currently not indexed. So for example, this page two, it is discovered by Google, but it's not going to the crawling stage. There can be multiple reasons. We'll talk about it later in the video. And page three, it is crawled, but not going to indexed. So that's why you see this issue discover currently not index and crawl currently not index on your search console account. How was it guys? Was it really complicated? I hope this was easy for you to understand. I tried to create simple graphics for you. So now you understand how this indexing works. So discovered content not index means that Google knows about your page, but it hasn't crawled it yet. Like we saw before, it's not going to the crawling stage. And this can happen for a number of reasons. So reason one, Google has not had yet chance to crawl your page. That's what I said. Maybe Google didn't get to your page and it's still on discovery stage. So don't worry about it. What will happen with time in few days, the page will go to crawl stage and maybe it can be indexed. So don't worry about it if your website is really new. Google will take some time to process the pages. Second thing, your website is large and has a lot of content. So if you have really large website, it might take also some time for Google to process all the pages to discover and then to crawl and then to index those on Google search engine. But sometimes what happens, the page is stuck in discovery stage or crawl stage. That happened because you have added disallow tag or no index tag on your website. We're gonna see this in detail when we'll go to live example fixes. Thin content, if your page doesn't have enough valuable information, it will stuck in discovered, Google will know about it, but not crawl this page because it will think it is a waste of time to crawl this page because it's not going to be indexed on Google. And last point is crawl issues. If you have server issues, for example, your website is not accessible at the moment with Google or your crawl budget is limited. Don't worry about crawl budget. It is just like how many times Google is scanning your website and Google is crawling and Google is sending bots on your website to check on new pages. But yes, it's possible if you have a large website, you can have server issues. So Google will not be able to access your website. And that's why it's not able to process the discovered pages or crawl the pages and index them to Google. Let's see technical definition of crawl currently not indexed. So Google has crawled your page, but it has decided not to index it. Google knows about your page. Google says, no, we're not going to index this page on our search engine. This can happen for a number of reasons. The first reason can be your content is low quality. Guys, we all know how good our content is. So if you've written a content like few minutes, try to improve the content, try to add more information about it, try to add some structure, some bullet points, some headings, H1 tags, some links, 
in your content. So Google will see the efforts you're putting in the content and try to link these pages within your website. We will not talk about backlinks because that's not a requirement to crawl the pages index on Google. It can help, but that's not a requirement. Second thing, duplicate on another page. Google prefer other canonical. So if you have two pages on your website which has similar content, very similar content, Google cannot index both the pages. It will keep the pages in crawl section because it will say these pages have very similar content. It's not going to index both the pages. I created a complete video on canonical pages. So if you want to check that video, check the description of this video. Third, same thing like we saw the same issue in discover stage. Your page is blocked by disallow tag or no index tag. We're going to talk about this in more detail in next section. Thin content, if your page doesn't have enough value information, crawl issue, survey issue, crawl budget. And the last point is page is not appearing properly while crawled. That is really important thing. I'll show you how it works when we go to Google Search Console account and I will try to fix those issue to give you example. We're going to understand everything because right now I'm going to show everything with live example. And guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and share this video with somebody if you think the content in this video is really helpful for you. So this is my Search Console account and first we'll go to Discover Content Not Indexed. And then you can see we have many pages here on my website. So this page, amenities to cart, categorize, checkout, elementor page, home to, there are multiple pages here. So for example, if you click on this page, you can click on this inspect URL and then you can know information about this page. So you can see here, we are having no information about this page. So what we can do, we can use this section test live URL. And I normally I recommend you to use this option test live URL because it refreshes the information about the page. Maybe you changed the page recently. It might take some time to process the live URL. Okay, you can see URL is available to Google. Like we know, Google discovered the page. You can click here page availability, page can be indexed. You can see there's no problem with this page. Crawl allowed is yes. Google can fetch the page, yes. And indexing allowed, yes. So all these things are allowed, but this page is still not indexing. If it is a new page, wait for some time, the page will be indexed because there's no issue with the page. But if it is an old page, it's there from long time. What do you need to check about this? If I show you this page, it's called Amenities 2. In my website, I have a very similar page, which has the very similar content, which is called Amenities. You can see there's another page here. That's why Google is not indexing this page because everything looks nice, but it has duplicate content. In many cases, if it is like very similar duplicate content, you will see the URL here of the page which is the original and the other page which is duplicate. So you can also check this option. Second thing you need to check is when you test live URL, click here on view tested page. And then go here screenshot. You can see here everything looks real nice. We have logo here, menu here and we have the text here. If you see any issue here, for example, you cannot see any logo or menu or there's no text on the first load. If the page looks really weird, you need to understand that's the issue. That's why Google is not indexing your pages or Google is not crawling your page. They're still stuck in the discover stage or in the crawl stage. That can be another reason. So this is really important to check. Let's check another page. Okay, you can see we have another page, card page, which is totally normal. I don't want this page to be indexed. Google knows about it, but I don't want to be indexed. If we click here on inspect URL and then we scroll the page and then we can see again, there's no information here. What we'll do again, guys, test live URL. You can see URL is not available to Google. Why is happening? You can see in the report here, no index tag detecting robots meta tag. So in my website, I have added no index tag. That's why this URL is not allowed to be indexed on Google. It's me who I decided. But in your case, it's possible that you have mistakenly added no index tag in your website page. That's why it keeps stuck in the discovery stage or in the crawl stage. So if you see this error after testing your live URL, you can fix this issue. I created a complete video about it. You can check the description of this video, how you can remove the no index tag. Okay, so let's check another page. You can see there's a page pricing. If I click on inspect URL, there's, again, there's no information. You'll find this kind of issue if your website is new and page is stuck in Discord, currently not index. So I'll click on test live URL and you can see URL is available to Google. If I see the details, page can be indexed, Crawl allowed, yes. Page fetch successful, yes. Everything looks fine here. There's no problem here. And then page is usable in mobile, breadcrumbs, sidings, search box. Everything looks really, really nice on this page. If I check here, view tested page, and we go to screenshot, you can see page looks really, really nice. But guys, there is a problem here. Let me show you what is the problem. If I copy this page and open a new tab, when I open this page, it's the pricing plans. And then there's pricing plan of membership and everything else. 
But guys, what's happening actually? This is a page came with my theme. I do not use this page on website. This page exists in your text on website, but is not at all related to my website. This page has information about membership to a place or a dedicated desk, a rental space, and my website is about web development. So this content on this page is not at all relevant to my website, and Google says this page cannot be indexed because it doesn't fit in the category of my website. So that's why Google is not moving this page from discover stage to crawl stage. Let's go and check some crawl current not indexed pages. So if I click on this error here, you can see we have 11 pages, and then we have these pages here. Okay, so for example, we have this page here: how to roll back downgrade WordPress version. If I click on inspect URL. And then same thing again. You can have all the details. Page is allowed to crawl. Yes. Page fetched successfully. Yes. Indexing allowed. Yes. And then canonical is no problem. There is no duplicate content on this website. But if I open this page, you can see a blog post on the website. A very little text here, and then a couple of screenshot. Four steps. A YouTube video from my channel here. So what I think why Google is not indexing this page because this page doesn't have really meaningful content. I had very basic steps, and I'm sure these steps already exist somewhere else on internet. And this tutorial is not the best tutorial for this term. So what is Google saying? If somebody want to search how to roll back or downgrade WordPress version, it will not show my page because because the page doesn't have quality content on it. So what I need to do is to index this page. I need to rewrite this article, or maybe I need to improve the article, add some more information. And after some time, when I see I have improved this page. And there's no other issues here. Then what I will do, I will click on request indexing, and then Google might consider to index this page. Again, it's on Google. It will see if the content is valuable enough or not to index page in future. And then you can see this information indexing requested. Guys, use this option only when you really worked on a page. Do not use this option just like this. Same thing is happening here. WordPress versus other website builders. If I copy URL, if I open new tab, you can see I just wrote eleven points. And it is honestly not the best article I should have wrote about this topic. Ten things to understand between WordPress and other page builders. Honestly, I don't think it's a very nice article. That's why Google is not indexing because there's no other issue with this page. And guys, if you see feed pages, don't worry about it. I created a complete video how you can remove feed pages from your website. They're not your issues. And I asked Google not to index them. I did personally myself. I added no index text. That's why these pages are appearing here. If you also see feed pages here, don't worry about it. They are good things. They're not being indexed because I instructed Google not to do it. If you want to watch the video where I explain how I excluded the feed pages to be indexed on Google because they were creating so many problems, check out the description of the video. I will add that video where I cover this topic in detail. Same thing happening again. S equal to this search term string. If I click on this icon here, and then you can see here indexing allowed no because no index tags is detected in. Robots meta tag because I have added this tag. I will add link to those informational videos in description so you can also fix those issue on your website. And guys, if there is any other issue to fix this issue on your website, comment down below. I answer all the comments on this channel. If you want to rank your website higher in search engine rankings and fix these kind of various issues on your website, check this small playlist on your screen. And guys, if this video helped you out, don't forget like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with somebody.